If you thought single word tweets were so 2022, this guy just reminded us they're not. Because VO3.1 has arrived and Google's clearly been at work. But with richer native audio, better cinematic styles, even transitions between frames, sounds expensive, right? Relax. There's ways to use it without breaking the bank. Let's skim the sickest features and fire up two ways to get free VO access. This is the AI Beat with AI agents A to Z. VO3.1's got richer native audio. That's realistic voices, synced effects, and ambient sounds that actually make sense. Your videos won't just look good, they'll sound next level. Cinematic styles got a glow up. Smooth camera moves, better lighting, and scenes that feel, well, cinematic. AI videos that might've been meh are now movie contenders. With ingredients to video, what you imagine is really what you get. Toss in a reference image and VO3.1 follows your lead character, object, or scene for perfectly guided output. If frames used to feel choppy, not anymore. VO3.1 makes transitions silky smooth, keeping everything flowing and cinematic. Got a short clip that's fire? Extend it. VO3.1 generates new scenes that blend perfectly with old ones. That means longer videos for a minute or more like magic. But enough feature talk, let's actually use it. Fire up Google Cloud and you'll see $300 in free credits just waiting to be used. Click get started for free and once you've signed in, set your account information. There's no automatic charges, but you do need to add a payment method for identity verification. Once you've got your account, you can monitor your credit usage here. Method one, load NAN and import the workflow we provided in the description. In the configure me node, you'll need the project ID. Go to Vertex AI in Google Cloud, select AI Studio, then VO3.1. Click Get Code and then copy the project ID into NAN. Feel free to change the model, but we'll use 3.1 Preview for this example. Next is to set up your credentials in the Video Generation node. It's a predefined credential type using Google OAuth 2 API. Click to create a new credential, then copy the OAuth redirect URL. Go to your Google Cloud, into APIs and Services, in credentials and create a new credential for OAuth client ID. Select web application and paste in the redirect URL from NAN. Click create, then copy the client ID as well as the client secret into NAN. To get the scope, grab the Vertex AI API scope to paste into NAN. The link to this is shared in the description below, but we're still not done. Back in Google Cloud, under the OAuth consent screen, under audience, you can choose two routes here. Route A, add a test user and enter your email address. If you try to sign in with Google, you'll see this unverified app screen, but since this is a test app, you can still continue and connect successfully. Route B, you can publish the app. Again, if you try to sign in with Google, you'll see a scarier version of the unverified screen, but just click advanced, go to local NAN, and continue to connect successfully. Keep in mind that route A will require you to reconnect your account every week, whereas route B will give you a longer token expiration. Of course, there's also route C, where you verify your app, but only if you like bureaucracy. Once your credential is connected, add the same credential to the get status node. Now we can test this out. Add in a prompt, set the resolution, aspect ratio, and video duration, reference image, generate audio, and see what we get using 3.1 preview. So the main issue with the framework is its scalability. Exactly, the data clearly, ah, get away. What is that? Run. Method two, let's use the credits with VO3.1. Open the menu, click Vertex AI, select the studio, and you'll see VO3.1 preview in the dashboard. In the playground, you can select which model you want to use, the aspect ratio, number of generated videos, video length, output resolution, which bucket to store, audio generation, reference images, plus a place to upload starting images next to the prompt. Let's generate a video, add in our prompt, a reference image, and see what we get. Dancing on the ice tonight feels so right. Yeah, with you by my side. Give it a spin and let us know. Is VO3.1 truly the champion or is its lead over Sora 2 on thin ice? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And that's the AI Beat.